Hello everyone, uh, this video is going to show how to create an input box <clears throat> and have the box pop up and take a input from the user. The input's going to be a name of a new worksheet and then it's going to create a worksheet with that new name. So first thing you want to do is go to the Visual Basic environment. So you want to click on the editor here got the editor up now and you can see uh, I'm in module 2 here so I don't need to create a new module I already wrote the code so uh, for the sake of time well let's just look at it so I have sub input box and I want to declare a response as a variant and this is gonna hold the input from the user so let me close this down so let's look at this. Response is going to equal application dot input box. So this creates an input box, and the text in the input box is going to say enter a name for a new worksheet for a new worksheet, and then the title of the input box is going to be this is the title. So that's how you would do that. Application dot input box, the text, and then the title. So that creates an input box. And now what you want to do is if there is no response, uh, that means if the user doesn't uh, enter anything, then exit the sub. Else if the response is blank, which is just like they don't do anything, or the response is not blank, if the response is not blank, then you want to create a new sheet, and you do that here. Sheets.add, and the type of sheet is Excel Worksheet. So this is going to create a new sheet, and then it'll it'll become active. That new sheet is active, and you want to put the name as the response. So you create an input box. Uh, you take a input. If it's zero, you exit the sub. If the response is not blank, you create a worksheet and name it. So let's look at this. Let's step through it. So here we go. Step through. You can see here's the input box. Enter a name for a new worksheet. I'm going to enter uh, this is new. And there's the title. Now when I press OK, the response uh, is not zero so it's gonna go here and the response does not equal blank so now it's going to create a new sheet and it just did that down here created a sheet called sheet 2 and now it's gonna rename that sheet to the response and you could see that down here it says this is new so that's uh, pretty much it. Um, it created a new sheet. You put in a, an input box. It creates a new sheet. Let me just show you what happens. Uh, um, I did a shortcut key on this, so I'll press Control W, and I'll just show you what happens if the response is blank. So if the response is blank, then you just exit the sub. That's why this code here is important. If the response not blank, but if it's zero. So if there's no response, if they didn't do anything, uh, and they press OK, then you just exit the sub. If they do put something in the input box, then you create the sheet and rename it. So that's pretty much it. Uh, you saw that it works. And if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, please comment, and thank you very much.